Hey, sorry y'all, it's part two, part, uh, it cut off. My video has been doing that recently. I don't know what's up with it. Um, I haven't learned how to link it together yet. I need to learn how to do that, but I apologize. So part two. Okay, so we're back. I'm just gonna jump into it. So you go in there. If you have to undergo a mental health assessment, I feel somebody is about to. Um, and I feel it's a psychic. I didn't hear it was a psychic, but I feel one of us is about to get attacked. And I'm serious about that. I feel one of you guys is about to get attacked by a freaking psychiatrist, a high ranking member of your society and community and some damn lawyers. And I'm serious because that's what I heard. So you go in there very calmly, very, very, very calmly. Okay. Um, me I would suggest meditating before going in there because nobody likes going in there with psychiatrists. I mean, most people don't. Um, I sure as hell don't. Most people don't um same people don't <laughs> i'm just serious because i'm I'm just serious <laughs> um i don't so i would meditate i would meditate for going in just chillax meditate clear your mind know you've got it so go in chill relax be very calm answer whatever questions this psychiatrist is going to ask you or whoever is going to ask you very cognizantly and with it obviously um hopefully i don't feel this is somebody that is on drugs or alcoholic or i don't feel you're an abusive person i feel you are a person that's just these assholes are trying to set you up i don't feel you're a drug addict i don't feel you're alcoholic i don't feel you're a, um they want to prescribe you freaking psychedelics so they want to make you a drug user basically someone is getting a huge wake-up call Oh my God, I heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. Maybe it's you, uh, the person um, is about to be set up. I'm serious. I just thought about it. They want to make you a drug user. They want to make you dependent. That's just exactly what the fuck they want to do. But whoever you are, I feel you're very independent. They want to bring you down. They want to decrease your shine. But I'm telling you how to get past the mental health set assessment, okay? If you're interested in this, okay? Of course, you only take the messages that resonate and you everybody has free will. I just want to make this clear, but I would tell you what I would do. Okay. I've done it before. So you go in, you're very calm. You answer any questions you need to answer to whoever this, this person or people are. Okay. And I mean, just, and be honest, be honest, be honest. I'm not telling you to lie. Whoever you are, I don't feel you have any mental health diagnoses. I don't, I feel you get true psychic intuitive messages from the spiritual universe is what I'm saying. I don't feel you true have truly, truly have mental health issues is what I'm saying. I have worked in a jail before. I have seen people that have true auditory hallucinations, true visual hallucinations, a lot of them from drugs. And I'm serious about that. Whoever you are. I don't feel it's the case. I feel you get true, clear audience or clairvoyant messages from the universe. And no drugs required with that. And I'm serious because I've been getting them for two years and I've never been a drug user ever a day in my life. Ever. Ever. And it's the truth. But um, they want to put you on psychedelics, which they basically want to make you a drug user. But the psychedelics, ecstasy and psycho psilocybin i'm sorry ecstasy and psilocybin it's used to treat depression and post-traumatic stress disorder her the psychiatrist basically has it in his head that you're freaking made like majorly depressed um or i'm sorry not his head this person's head uh, i didn't hear he is this person's head so they already have a plan is what i'm saying so just go in there very very calmly answer all the questions when it gets to the part I'm not telling you to lie, but if you are a true psychic and you don't take drugs and you don't want to be drugged up in the freaking universe, and because if you start taking drugs, it's going to screw up your business if you're a psychic. And I'm serious about that. It's going to screw your business up because you're not going to be able to think straight. Um, and I'm serious. Um, if you feel you don't need the drugs when it comes to the part of are you having visual hallucinations, say no. Are you having auditory hallucinations? Say no, because it's not true. It's not true. Because I know how the true psychic realm works. I know how it works. I know how to channel in. I've been doing it for two years. No drugs required there. But some people don't quite understand the spiritual realm. And they don't understand, apparently the psychiatrists and these 
lawyers don't understand it. Or maybe they do and they don't want to. And I'm serious. A judge is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge. Okay, I heard a judge is getting a huge, huge, huge wake up call. Huge. Um, so maybe, a, maybe the judge watches. Um, we are pulling in at least two lawyers, a psychiatrist, and a judge. Now, a judge. But I'm serious. So when it gets to the part of, are you having visual hallucinations? Say no, because you will be honest about that. Are you having auditory hallucinations? Say no. Like I said, I used to work in a jail. I know the difference. Trust me. I used to assess those people with true auditory and visual problems, uh, hallucinations, off of drugs. And I'm serious. It is a completely different ballgame than channeling in from the spiritual universe. Completely different. Those people can get aggressive. And they can get crazy in a, like, in a drop of a hat. I mean, seriously, true story. It ha has happened to me when I worked in the jail. And I'm serious about that. Um, it's not like this. But people that don't, that um, they either want to see you fail or they just want to shut you, shut your ass up and drug you. And I'm serious about that, whoever you are. Definitely a psychic. Definitely. Okay, I heard definitely a psychic. Definitely. So you're definitely a psychic. I was kind of feeling you were, but it wasn't confirmed until just now. So you're definitely a psychic, whoever this is. They're trying to attack you. They're trying to spiritually attack you and 3D attack you, apparently. So you're going to have to be smart if they call you in for a mental health assessment. Okay? Now, you might not be the only one getting called in for it. You know what I'm saying? But... Use your head. Use your head. I would suggest meditating and use your head. I don't care what they say to you. Oh, relax. Oh, why are you so uptight? Uh-uh. You're in there to do the job, which is the mental health assessment or whatever you need to do. And that's it. Period. You don't owe those people anything else. I'm assuming whoever, whatever psychic I'm um, speaking to here, you do not, you're not like buddy pals with these people out in the 3D. So, I would keep it professional and that's it. You go in there and do what they ask you to do and then you leave. Um, because I'm serious. I feel these people quite, some of these people might want to lock you up. Like mental health inpatient or some shit. I mean, they don't have positive plans for you is what I'm saying. They're trying to twist it to make you out look like a crazy person. Um, and I'm serious. So hopefully that helps you. Be, meditate, just meditate, meditate, and relax. Go in there, answer the questions in a very calm manner. Are you having auditory auditory hallucinations? No. Are you having visual hallucinations? Uh, sorry, visual hallucinations? No. Are you um have you do you have a history of drug use? Well, I don't know. I don't know your history of drug use. I would say no because I don't. But you know, answer the questions honestly. But my point is, when it comes to the auditory or visual hallucinations. Say no on both of them. Even though you are psychic and you channel in from the spiritual universe, it's not, I trust me, you guys, I have seen true problems in people in the 3D working as an uh, RN at the jail. It's not the same. It's not. What we do is different. And it's no drugs required here. And it's the truth. And these assholes want to put you on drugs. And you're a freaking psychic. You don't need them. It's really sad. Um, they want to treat you for depression and may maybe PTSD. What they need to do is leave you the hell alone and give you some justice and the ju true justice in the justice system if you deserve it. Not try to hop you up on some damn drugs. And I'm serious about that. They need to do the right thing and leave you the fuck alone. And just to let you know, you have the right to refuse medications too. Just to let you know. Um, and I'm serious. You do. So hopefully that helps somebody. Um, I'm bringing a little nursing expertise into this because I feel a need to. Um, because somebody is about to be attacked by their community. And I'm serious about that. Um, I hate that, but it's the truth. And it's high level people. They want to bring you down. They want to bring you down. And, th and they want to put you on fucking drugs. How petty is that? How petty is that? That's pretty fucking petty, if you ask me. And I'm serious. They need to do the right damn thing. Instead of um, trying to hop you up, damn psychic up on drugs. True psychics don't need drugs. Just let everybody know. If the lawyer, the judge, or the um, 
uh, lawyers, the judge or the psychiatrist is watching this. Trust me, I've been a psychic for two years. No drugs required. Hashtag no drugs required. Just saying. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else. Huge information flow is about to get out in a huge way. Huge, huge, huge way. To people, these people don't want it to get to. Several more shocking series of chain of events are about to occur. Okay, I heard huge, huge, huge information flow is about to get out to people. These people don't want to get out to. Um, several more shocking series of chain of events are about to occur. So, yeah, so... I'm pulling in at least one judge, at least two lawyers, and one psychiatrist, um, and maybe more for some of you guys, and a psychic, and a psychic um, that's about to be attacked by these people, and I'm serious about that. Um, I heard information flow is about to get out to people these people don't want to get out, though. The, I'm assuming the judge, maybe the judge, the, uh, the judge wasn't included in the beginning, so maybe the judge isn't in on this. Maybe it's just the two lawyers and the psychiatrist possibly, or at least two lawyers and psychiatrists, but, um, but we're definitely pulling at least two lawyers and a psychiatrist and a judge and a psychic. Um, but I heard information flow is about to get out to people. These people don't want it to get out to, and it's going to create other shocking series of chain events. So you plug it in how it resonates. I hope this helped. Please be safe, psychic. Please be safe because somebody is out to get your ass. They do not have good intentions for you and they're spying on you. The professionals in the community are spying on you. How unprofessional is that? A little food for thought. Someone is having a huge wake-up call. Huge. A very important phone call is about to be made soon and very quickly. Oh, my God. Wow. I heard someone is having a huge wake-up call. Huge. And a very important phone call is about to be made soon and quickly. Um, you plug it in. How it resonates. Okay. I'm getting out of here. Um, I'm getting out of here. Please stay. Please stay. Please stay I will, can't speak. Please stay safe, psychic. Please, 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 please stay safe, please. I hope that information, the nursing information, and the experience of me going undergoing a mental health assessment in the past helped you. Because I, undergo, I underwent the mental health assessment when I was getting psychic intuitive messages, just to let you know. It was not before. Um, it was not before. It was after. Okay. I know it can be done. You're just going to have to calm down and meditate and chillax before you do it. Okay. But it will be fine. It will be fine. I believe in you. I really believe in you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Okay. The spiritual community needs you. Okay. Stay safe. Love you. Namaste.